and gentlemen of the YouTube lands, it's your boy Tuglo, and today I kind of want to make a different type of video. It's going to be like a, a top X amount list or basically something to the effect of uh, what units from each banner should have a higher look at why they need to be a five star. Basically, what units should become a five star next? And I'm basically going to be taking them from each banner, going from the Princess banner all the way to the Pirate banner. Now, before I start this, I do want to say this very quickly. It does depend on what unit out of each pair that you use first. So, like, for instance, let's say I were to have somebody like this Asuna. If I were to use her up this eight and then switch over to Yui, it might be a little bit slower, especially depending on how far you are. But if you're playing as Yui first and then you SS3 and then you go straight into Asuna, it feels much better. And I'll, I'll, uh, excuse me there, I'll show it in this manner. So she goes here and then that instantly sets up Asuna as we see there. Now there are obviously different types of SS3s. Some people are combo generators and they last longer, such as the Halloween Asuna. We know that she stays in the air for roughly three to four seconds while she's doing her, uh, I guess, animation. Then there are some people like the Anniversary Silica or the Anniversary Leafa, or Lizbeth, that pair who go in, go out with their SS3s and bada bing, bada boom. Also, another person that I would think of with a very quick SS3 would be the Anniversary Leafa. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into each banner per se, starting with the Princess banner. So, the, some of the criteria that, that I'm going to be looking for or using is, are they going to have long or quick uh, SS3s from their banner? Are they going to be the best at doing their job from their banner so is this combo generator better than this combo generator is this burst unit better from this burst unit uh, obviously from their respective banners so that on top of their animation speed are they going to be slower like a Halloween Asuna or are they going to be quicker like a anniversary Leafa so those are the types of things that I kind of went through each banner and was kind of looking, comparing and contrasting, saying, okay, uh, I think these people would be good. Now for the last kind of key point or criteria that I used is this is going to be for somebody who is either free to play, casually whaling. Like these are gonna be for the people that have level 80, probably mismatched weapons, probably if you do have their weapon, it's not gonna be an R5 weapon. Uh, the unit won't be 100, you won't have all the gear to, you know, make them the Super Saiyan God, you know, type of unit. So, for instance, uh, in the previous, or maybe one to three ranking events ago, we saw X Slice and a bunch of JP people uh, use Yukata Rain. She was level 100, she was maxed out, she was basically a super saiyan god at that point and everybody was like oh shit man we need to uh put her as a five star for the next uh banner or you know vote scout you know whatever it may be but you gotta remember they have r5 weapons they have all this you know farmable accessories and farmable gear that has already come to pass and things of that nature now that's not to say that better weapons and better things won't come but that's just kind of to preface that and kind of take a step back and say, okay, will I really be able to replicate that without the R5 weapon, without, you know, X gear, without level 100? So without any more, uh, I guess, details, let's kind of go ahead and jump into uh, the few banners. Probably going to have to split this up into a one, two, maybe three part video, just depending on how long it takes. I know talking about you know setting the criteria setting up the things that I kind of use to judge the characters uh, took a good little bit so let's go ahead and jump right into it 
So the first banner that we're starting off with is the princess banner. Now we know that Asuna already has her five star, uh, up, I guess, transformation or upgrade. She obviously is a, a slower side of the animation. She also would combo very well with somebody that's like a burster or somebody who can like go in there double ss3 and then go right back to asana so something like an anniversary leafa you know i'm not obviously that's not the best combo but if you get somebody like just to fill in that double ss3 slot switch right back to her and keep on you know hacking and slashing so we see that from princess asana so now the other two people that i like to think are deserving of it would have to definitely be Princess Silica. She kind of does the same thing. Her animation isn't the fastest, but it's definitely one of those things where you can hit it, switch onto a burst person, and then maybe, you know, if it's a double SS3 person or not, go right back to Silica. But she's definitely somebody, obviously with debuff, obviously with a dark unit, uh, she definitely would be somebody who's good. The next one from the princess banner is going to be Leafa. I do not have that character, but I think with her huge spread for AoE and her quick animation, I think being able to go in and switch off, so she would be the second person that would do the double SS3 potentially, and then switch back to the first person. So it could be like, for instance, Princess Asuna, double Princess Leafa, Princess Asuna kind of stunning or free, freeze framing lord have mercy uh that enemy that you're fighting so the next banner that i had written down was the schoolgirl banner to me <clears throat> i know rainy rain just got done getting her five star upgrade and that's great and all but i still don't think that any invulnerable character should be five star upgraded because they can do their job perfectly well at the four star tier so with schoolgirl uh the next one comes the maid banner so with the maid banner i really really think that maid rain and maid Sinon are the two most deserving units from that banner maid rain would be the person that you know comes in and she just wails on you like that Halloween Asuna would. You switch over to the Sinon, pop, pop, two SS3s, right back to Maid Rain. I think that that would be something very spectacular. We obviously know that Maid Rain is a huge combo generator. She's very, very good at that. I think she hits about anywhere from 15 to 17 on one SS3, so that's enormous amounts of combo. Also, with... Uh, made Sinon having a extremely fast SS3 and the just the amount of damage that she can do uh, Definitely from that banner. I believe that those two uh, are definitely worth thinking about Making them into the five-star units Next we have the Alicization version 1 and version 2. I think this might have been earlier, but I remembered it so I put it here uh, Alicization version 1 and version 2, I think both of these units could easily be deserving of, or not both, but all, all of these units could easily be deserving of the 5 star upgrade, just for the sheer fact, like I've said before, the burst from version 2 Yu-Gi-Oh is so strong, such a fast animation, he could easily be somebody, you know, go in there with like, let's say, your version 2 Alice, double SS3, version 2 Yu-Gi-Oh, right back to version 2 Alice. Like, the, the possibilities are endless with the version 1 and version 2 uh, com or units. You know, each of them have, you know, Alice version 1 combo, Alice, or a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh version 1 is combo, burst and burst. It's, it's crazy that, to think, looking back, like, man, these units the more you think about them and mix and match like the better they become for growing into an ss5 or being upgraded into an ss or an ss into a uh no, i'm sitting over here thinking about db super into a five star unit 
Now, the next one I have is the beautiful girls playing in water. Uh, I honestly think the only one out of there worth it is Sugu. Uh, I do not have her, but I do have the Lizbeth from that banner, so that's the Lizbeth. Uh, I think the Sugu's AoE is unparalleled on that banner. She, dude, if Yu-Gi-Oh covers like a full screen, I'm pretty sure like that Sugu covers like a screen and a quarter. Like, it, it's insane. The animation on it is way faster than the version one Yu-Gi-Oh's SS3, and it's it's just mind-boggling how much like she can cover. I also think that that banner had the ability to stun. I know my Lizbeth does. I can't recall if the other two did. So let me know down in the comment section below if they did or not. Uh, the next one was the Zodiac banner. Now, to be honest with you, each unit from the Zodiac banner has potential to do something in an SS3 uh, as far as a 5-star upgrade. You use somebody like Yuki super fast, you know, she would be that double SS3, then you go to switch. I'm gonna say the transitioner for the... Uh, you know, SS, you know, the first person SS3, the double, and then back to the first person. I'm gonna say that the double part is the transitioner. So, Yuki, she could easily be a transitioner. The only problem is that when her, she SS3s, it sets her, like, pretty far away from the mob. So, depending on, like, your start of when you use the SS3 to, like, where you finish, that could throw that off just a little bit. But depending also on how long your first person's SS3 is for their animation. Again, I'm gonna reference the Halloween Asuna. If she's still doing that, you hit that SS3, bounce right back. It can be insane, so she's definitely somebody who should be looked at. Then, the both of the Lancers, I think, are very good choices. Uh, Shinon, without a doubt, in my opinion has to be number one because she can either start you off really quick and she can she can fill both roles she can be your transitioner or she can be your beginning and your end uh she just she she's literally insane uh as far as the asana goes i feel like she only can fill the beginning and end parts but the biggest problem with her is that dude if if you if you just blink at her like her ss3 is done for so if she does become a five star upgrade we definitely like need to get that shit fixed otherwise do not vote for her because like yeet that shit and last but not least is leafa uh she would definitely be like your halloween asana like your potential made rain she's gonna be that beginning and finisher the combo it is, you know, her animation is slow, but that's good because we want a double SS3. And then the next banner I have is the Bride Banner. Now from there, I don't really have that many units from the Bride Banner. I have the Bride Xenon and that's about it. But obviously from what I know, from what people in my Discord tell me and from, I feel like is a general popular, you know, general, Hmm. what's the word a general agreement i guess what for lack of better words is that asana and alice are 99 percent of the time like the best on that banner so definitely like they have got to be considered for a five star upgrade and where i'm gonna end this video is going to be on the os version 2 i feel like you're Sugu and your Asuna, without a doubt, have to be considered for a 5-star upgrade just for the sheer fact that Sugu, dude, quick animation, big fat burst, and then your Asuna, eh, you know, she's she's got her combo, it ain't the best, but, you know, she she, she do, she be doing her thing, you know, we can't hate on that. Uh, Kirito, I'm gonna hate on that, fuck that guy, no, <laughs> but... Uh, that's all I want to do for the first part of the video. I know most of it was kind of just explaining the background, the criteria, and things of that nature, how I came to the conclusion of these units. So based off of these, uh, you know, banners or units, 
what did y'all think of that? Let me know down in the description. Or not in the description. Lord have mercy, what am I on? I need to get some of that. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really love to hear what you thought about these units from the Princess to the OS version 2 banner. Uh, this is something, you know, I've been thinking about for the past few days. And it's really, uh, really something I haven't really seen at all. So I'd like to hear your feedback on that. And let me know why you disagree or agree. Uh, I'm really curious to see what you have to say. So as always... Thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate that support a lot. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel as that would make the dream become a reality. Also, if you're already subscribed, be sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video like this that might be, you know, put up at a different time than normal. Also, check out the description box down below for links to my Patreon page, my Twitch stream, and different social medias such as, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Snap, Twitter, wherever else you want to stalk me on. Something that I probably have and don't even know. But that's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As y'all know, that's the fat lady singing. That's the bells are ringing. And until the next video, hope you have an awesome day. And I'll see you then. Peace out, baby.